Hi, welcome to row 200 on questions. A ball is thrown from a height of 10 meter. Every time it bounces, it goes up by 80 percent at 8. So again comes down by 8. Then again goes up by 80 percent. 80 percent of 8 is 6.4 and so on. So if you notice, it is a geometric progression. So 10, then there is 8 and 8 two times. Then there is 80% of water value, 6.4, 6.4, so, so on and so forth. Right. So if I add 10 out here first, and if I subtract 10, so you get a geometric progression of 20, 16, 12.8, and so on, where the common ratio is 80%, 0.8, minus 10. So what is the sum of a GP? Sum of a GP is A upon 1 minus R, infinite GP which is 20 upon 0 0.8, right? So if you, because the common ratio is one minus R, so one minus 0 0.8, so 20 upon 0 0.2, which will give you 100. But you have to subtract 10 from the end, so minus 10, which will give you 90 as the answer, C option, okay? So 10 bounces back to eight, then comes back eight, goes up 6.4, comes back 6.4 and so on. So every time it, the total distance it travels is, 80% less than previous. So here it travels 16, next will travel 12.8 and so on. 80% less. So common ratio is 0 0.8. So whenever you see a common ratio and you see a infinite number of cases, it is always a formula of sum of GP, A upon 1 minus 4. Use it. Shopkeepers hold two pencils and one pen each at a cost price of pen to make a profit of 50%. How do you make a profit of 50%? So cost price, let's say 2, selling price is 3, you make a profit of 50%. Just take numbers, it becomes easier if you take numbers and just try to solve it. So selling price is 3, but the selling price is same as cost price of pen. So cost price of 3 pens is 3, that means cost price of 1 pen will be 1. Cost price of 1 pen is 1. So from this 2, 1 is cost price of pen and one will be cost price of two pencils, which means cost price of one pencil is 0 0.5. Now, if I sell at a cost price of pencil, so I'll be selling 0 0.5 into three, all three items, 1.5. So I'm selling at 1.5. So my cost price is two, selling price of 1.5, loss is 0 0.5 out of two. Right? I'm having a loss of 0 0.5 out of the total value of 2, which gives you 25% C option. Right? Clear? The average of people staying in a house decreased by 3 years as compared to what it was 2 years ago. Let the average today be X out of 2 people. Okay? 2 people who are there initially, I mean there were only two people in the family. So three years ago, the average was x minus two. Now because the new people came, the average became x minus five. So minus three, three years less. Because the two new people came, so this is the average for two people, this is the average for four people. So x is the average for two people. I don't know the average for the remaining two people. The overall average is x minus five. You can do reverse allegation because number of people is 2 is to 2 or 1 is to 1. If this difference is 5, this difference also will be 5. This will be x minus 10. So difference in the average is 10. Or you can say 2 people with the average of x plus 2 new people. We don't know the average. Let's say y. The overall average becomes 4 into x minus 5 total. This also you can solve. 2x plus 2y equal to 4x minus 20 or 2y equal to 4x minus 20 minus 2x or 2y equal to 2x minus 20. So the new average y is equal to x minus 10, all average is x, so difference in average is 10. You can solve by equation or you can solve by reverse allegation, whichever you are comfortable with. ax square plus bx. Substitute the value, I mean, just substitute 25a minus b. Okay, 25a plus 5b 
is equal to that is f of i is equal to a minus b if i put x as minus 1 this is f of minus 1 this is f of 5 from this if you solve you get 24a equal to minus 6b or you can say uh, b is equal to minus 4a substitute in the equation so what equation you get ax square minus 4ax so f of 2 will be ax square 2 square minus 4a into 2 which is minus 16 4a minus 8a equal to minus 16 so you'll get a equal to minus 16 upon minus 4 which will give you 4 b option that's the answer six students write an exam with each getting a distinct rank from one to six what is the probability student a has got rank two and the second student gets top six ranks for top of four ranks so a has got rank two and b can get either one three or four three ways so total number of ways is one into three three ways total number of ways for a and b to arrange is six into five i mean a can get six ranks b can get five ranks 30 ways so probability is 3 out of 30 or 1 out of 10. Any other way of doing it is if A gets second rank one way, B can get first, third or fourth rank three ways and remaining four can be arranged in four factorial ways. So total number of ways is 1 into 3 into 4 factorial and total ways of arranging all six is six factorial. Even this will give you value, value. 1 into 3 into 4 factorial upon 6 into 5 into 4 factorial 3 upon 30 or 1 out of 10 you get the answer thank you